What is up guys? Today on Iceberg TV, I have a very fun and scientific video for you today. We're gonna to do a really fun experiment. Are heavy disks more or less stable than lightweight disks? So we have three fission photons here. They have very similar parting lines, very similar disks across the board. The only difference is this photon is 167, this one is 162, five grams lighter, and this one is substantially lighter. I weighed it just a few minutes ago and it actually weighed in at 149. It was at one point stickered at 151, but due to the wear and tear, it seems to have lost a few grams over the years. So we're gonna throw them and <laughs> see how they fly. We're gonna start off with nice, slight highs of release. See how the turn differs from the close to max weight. We'll call this the middle weight, and then we'll call this the light weight. If you guys like this kind of video, let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. All right, 167. Uh, pretty much the perfect fission photon flight. I caught some of that tree action on the right there, but you could see it really just wanted to flip up to flat, stay flat, and then have a nice fade at the end. It was pretty much done turning by the time it got to that tree anyway. Now we got the 162. Same deal, uh, much <laughs> straighter line there. Again, flipping up to absolutely dead straight and then dumping off pretty much the exact same flight. Now I'm sure this is what all of you guys are most curious about. And this is actually the one that I'm the most curious about. 149 gram, is it flippy? Is it stable? Let's find out. <laughs> Flips up to flat and fades at the end. And a lot of people refuse to throw lightweight discs and they look at it and like, oh, 150 grams. This thing's gonna be way too flippy, man. I can't be bagging that. I just don't think that's always the case. And sometimes I think those lightweight discs can be a really amazing option. It is a little bit windy out here today. We just threw into a mild tailwind. So we'll actually be throwing back into a headwind. And that's where I think we'll really see if there's a difference. Are the lightweight options flipping more or less? I think it'll really exaggerate the flight characteristics when throwing directly into a headwind. So I'm really excited to see how these three discs stack up coming back the other way into the headwind. Let's see if that 149 gram fission photon can hold up to the headwind. Let me know what you guys think about lightweight discs in the comment section down below. I'm very intrigued by them, not just with distance drivers, but also with putters, mid ranges, and fairway drivers. And actually overstable approach discs in lighter weight is a completely underrated shot that I've never really seen anyone bag before but I personally have actually had immense success with it in the past. And I'm not an artificial intelligence, super consistent disc throwing robot, but the max weight one or close to max weight did clip these trees and landed right there. The lightweight one landed here and then the orange one beat it by just a slight margin. So maybe the middleweight slot could potentially be the sweet spot. The only way to find out is to do a few more throws. All right, let's throw all of these discs back. We're gonna throw them in the same order. We're gonna go heavyweight, middleweight, and then lightweight, starting off with the heavyweight. Same deal, slight highs of release. <laughs> Popping up to dead straight, drifting quite a ways in a forward pushing line, then having a really nice consistent fade at the end. Now the orange guy, the middleweight, 162. Same, I'll do my best to throw the same lines. It's pretty consistent. That did flip up just a slight hair more, kind of popped up and didn't really turn, but it, it, it thought about it. It definitely thought about turning. We didn't quite get a full turn there. Let's see what this lighter weight one does. Again, we have a headwind left to right. So if this disc is going to turn, it's going to turn in this wind. I mean, just standing up to flat. And that one flew the furthest of the bunch. But I think we've already debunked the myth that lightweight discs are all understable. That fission photon flies like an absolute beauty, super easy distance. And it's not turning and burning or doing anything crazy or being unpredictable. Even into a headwind, it's extremely consistent and reliable. And one thing that I do think is worth mentioning 
MVP discs carry more weight around the edge than most other brands. And I don't think this makes a tremendous difference um, with max weight discs, but I do think there is a chance that lightweight MVP discs could carry more stability than lightweight discs from other brands. So if you guys wanna see me compare the lightweight MVP driver to some lightweight drivers from other brands, let me know in the comment section down below, because that's another thing that really interests me because gyroscopic stability is gonna help prevent those drivers from you know, fully turning over and burning. Maybe that additional weight around the edge is helping keep that 149 gram driver you know, up and, and stable instead of just turning and burning. Again, it's all just, you know, <laughs> concepts and theories for now. But if you wanna see a video like that, let me know in the comment section down below. Again, I'm not a disc throwing robot, so it's not gonna be perfect. But the orange guy coming up the shortest this time around, and then we have the lightweight and the heavyweight basically going toe to toe when it comes to the distance lines. When it comes to lighter weight discs, there's for sure a different feel in hand when it comes to your timing. And that could potentially be problematic when you're trying to shoot well on, out on the course. And you, you, maybe you have one or two really, really lightweight discs in your bag. There's definitely going to be some advantages to being good with them. And to, to figure that out, you're gonna have to put in the time, put in the work and learn how to throw them properly. I do think there is some exciting differences from the max weight to the middle weight. I think the middleweight could potentially be that sweet spot for most players um, within the amateur categories. Anyone, you know, MA1 and FA1 and under, I really think you should try working with some lighter weight discs and some middleweight discs. So anywhere from that 145 gram range to that 165 gram range, I definitely think you have some, not only distance potential that, that you could gain or change by throwing something lighter, I also have this theory that throwing lighter weight discs your arm is going to get used to moving faster if you do it consistently. And this is something you wanna be careful with, throwing lightweight discs all the time because your arm, 100% without a doubt, is gonna be moving faster through your range of motion. I do think this is potentially a good training mechanism to eventually throw your max weight discs because your arm is getting used to going faster. And I don't think this is a concept that's been fully discussed in disc golf quite enough, but I think throwing lightweight discs could eventually help you throw your max weight discs farther because you're teaching your arm to move faster through the motion. Again, if your arm goes fast, the disc will go far. Sometimes not everybody's as fast twitch as other people, and you can actually train to be faster by, by <laughs> learning how to go faster and using training mechanisms to become faster. So anyway, that's kind of a more of an obscure concept training-wise that I find really interesting, and something that I plan on investigating further in the future. So anyway, I think lightweight discs aren't always super flippy. And I think sometimes they get a bad rap. If you want to check out any discs, go to Power Grip USA, use my discount code ICEBERG10. It'll save you 10% on anything over at their website. All orders over $40 ship for free. Also go check out my signature disc golf bag, the Minty V4 over at BergsDiscSports.com. Use my code ICE20 to save 20% over $40 on that bag over there. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel and take care.